Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services, back with another tutorial. This one addresses the problem in Sibelius of instrument changes, key signatures, multi-rests, system breaks, and dynamic parts. They're all intertwined. Now, a brief background on instrument changes. These are most often used to change the transposition of an instrument, say from a clarinet in A to clarinet in B flat, or to create a doubling instrument for the same player, as in this case, where the flute player doubles on alto sax. An instrument change is created by going to Home, Instruments, Change. As you can see, when you apply an instrument change, the short name of the instrument is updated at the beginning of the staff system, and the transposition of the notes and key reflects the new instrument. Behind the scenes, the sound of the instrument is updated as well. I'm going to hide the name of the instrument here because I've already placed it in the score where the music re-enters over at bar 52. So instrument changes are very useful, but there's always been a problem with the way instrument changes affect system breaks and multi-rests. As you can see, when I go to the part, the instrument change is breaking the multi-rest in an undesirable way. If you move the instrument change back to the previous bar, the multi-rest is restored, but the key signature change is now misplaced. It really should go after the bar line, not before. Further, if there were actually a system break here, it looks strange because, again, when you have a cautionary key signature, that should actually go after the final bar line in the system, not before. So the secret to getting all this to work correctly is to place a non-default bar line prior to the instrument change. Sometimes you'll get lucky and an instrument change will coincide with a double bar line, but when it occurs like it does here in the middle of ordinary music, you'll need to place a normal bar line by going to notations, common, bar line, normal. It looks identical to a default bar line, but it has some special properties, as we'll soon see. So let's try putting an instrument change in again. And on the face of it, it doesn't look like our problem has been solved. What is needed, for whatever reason, is to take advantage of a system break in the music. If one doesn't exist, temporarily place one in your score by hitting return. Then drag the instrument change just to the edge of the last bar. You'll feel it kind of stick here. Reset note spacing on the bar by Command Shift N or by going to Appearance, Reset Notes, Reset Note Spacing. Sibelius has now taken the instrument change into account and, if needed, you can delete your temporary system break. The music spacing holds, even if you reset note spacing again. Next, you'll want to go into your part and re-space the part, if needed. The beginning of the multi-rest h-bar is moved over, as you can see, by an appropriate amount to account for the instrument change, just like if it were a regular key signature change. And if there were a system break here, system breaks with cautionary key signatures also now appear correctly. You'll need to reset spacing in all your other parts as well because they'll be moved out of place when you put this new special bar line in. There's also one final crucial part of the process. The special normal bar line breaks a multi-rest in other parts where the music would otherwise call for one continuous multi-rest. In order to restore this multi-rest, you'll need to hide the bar line in the part. That's right, because it's a special bar line, it can actually be hidden in some parts and shown in others, as well as in the score. By hiding the bar line, the full multi-rest is restored. Certainly this is a case of something that should work more easily, and if you use Finale, you'll know that instrument changes and their older relative staff styles handle this situation flawlessly without any workarounds. But for now, 
In Sibelius, even though the workaround is complicated, at least you know all the steps in order to get everything right to both look and work correctly in your score. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like us on social media, and please do go to Sibelius' blog and subscribe and read all about more tips and tricks and news on Sibelius and all the other notation software and technology out there today.